Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this week I decided to share my February setup of my bullet journal and because I didn't manage to post last month's, I'm just flipping through so you guys can get a feel for how it ended up looking and how January's spread turned out. So for January I went with the theme of kind of moons and stars I suppose because it's like a new year, it's like a, a new, I don't know why. I'm trying to justify it. I don't know why. I was just drawn to drawing moons and stars. <laughs> so now we can get on into our February setup. So I'm starting with my title page as always and I do normally write hello and then I'll write the name of the month that we are going to be going in. But I decided to cross out February and rename it Froggyuary. <laughs> hilarious I know but we are in a leap year which means that uh, February gains an extra day so if your official birthday is on the 29th of February then congratulations you can actually celebrate your true birthday so for February I've actually decided to sketch in my bullet journal and I've never kind of sketched in my bullet journal before I've just obviously I've drawn but not sketched sketched so I'm going to be using um, a couple of different strengths of pencil. I was trying to think what I was saying. And I did pull out some of my charcoal pencils, which I do use now and again. It's been a while since I've sketched. So I felt like this is a good way to get me back into sketching on paper. I'm so used to drawing digitally now, especially with my sticker shop. Um, I just wanted to get back and sketch on actual paper with actual pencils and, you know the amount of times that you just want to hit Control z because then that will undo what you've just drawn in photoshop and you can't when you're drawing like this <laughs> and it's really frustrating sometimes um also this month obviously i've renamed froggyberry so frogs are going to be the main theme of my bullet journal this month uh never drawn frogs before so that was um interesting my frogs don't turn out the best but hey we tried we did it uh, I have sped this up quite a lot because obviously doing sketches takes a lot longer than just drawing little doodles so I have sped this up quite a lot. Let me know if you like watching people sketch in this kind of speed through way or if you would prefer me just to skip over a lot of it. Just let me know in the comments because like I say I've never sketched in my bullet journal or on YouTube before so let me know down below but other than that I just you know hope you enjoy my drawings and just chill out to some music. Once I had finished doing my little sketch, I then moved on to my monthly calendar. So for that I'm just drawing out a simple grid which I'm keeping on one page. So when I normally do my monthly calendars I have it on a double page, but I decided to keep it on a single page. And I know it looks pretty small, but right at the beginning of my bullet journal I've got a build tracker, I've got my yearly calendar with all of the birthdays already written on there. So really this is more just a month at a glance where I can just quickly jot things down or refer to it and see it that way. But anything else, any like bigger events or things, I've got the beginning bit at the journal. Oh, it's been a while since I've done a voiceover and boy, you can tell. So now at the bottom, I'm just writing the February 2020 and then realized I was supposed to write Froggyberry. But never mind, we're, we're moving on. We're going on to the next page. So I really like to set myself some personal goals each month. So here I'm just going to be drawing a frog, of course, and a simple kind of cube, which inside I'm going to be writing some goals. You could use this section to write anything that you want into this box. I've just labelled it goals and like I said they're just personal goals so simple things like making sure that we have a date night throughout February. I mean that's a bit easy because Valentine's Day is this month but um, just making sure um, that we spend 
a little bit more quality time together, me and my partner. It's very hard because I work and he works. I run my Etsy shop, I have this YouTube channel and we have three children. So trying to find that extra little time is one of my goals for each month. And then the other ones can just be like drinking more water, which I always say and never do. And uh, making sure that we have like a nice family day out somewhere. I should also say that I am not just drawing these off the top of my head, I am looking at different reference pictures. I think I was on Google Images and just put in frogs because I wanted to draw more kind of realistic key looking frogs than the kawaii cute drawings that I normally do. Um, so yeah, it's definitely um, a challenge for me. And then on the next page here, I've decided to add a mood tracker. I don't always add mood trackers into my monthly spreads in my bullet journal because if I do, I find myself kind of, how do I put this, making myself feel a way so I can fill in the little spaces. Because sometimes during a day you may have lots of different emotions, like maybe you're having a really good day but then it turns into a stressful day. Um, and you could like half the box draw half of it your stressed color and half of it your really good day color I don't know I just find myself making myself feel a certain way so then I can fill in the box I don't know if that made any sense so that's why I don't always include a mood tracker but I did decide to add one in this month and of course it's in the shape of a frog um, but this one is more of a art decory looking frog so then it's got lots of different sections that I can fill in and then I was just making sure that there are 29 sections which would be one for each day of February. Now we're going to be moving on to my weekly setups. So normally I have this on a double page, but I decided to switch it up for um, February or February. So I'm starting at the top with a really simple table and here I'm going to be writing down my meal list for the entire week. I'm also going to be using some of these green tiny post-it notes. Post-it notes are just really handy to have in your bullet journal because you can pick up information easy from one post-it note and then flip it to another week and stick it there. Or you can just like take it out and take it with you if it's a shopping list. I just find them super handy. So I wanted to include some of those in my spread. I then moved on and drew like the little calendar up at the top. I've also got a to buy list at the bottom and then a to do list as well. So I can flick to any week in my bullet journal and just write down things that I want to do for that week, but not necessarily put it on a certain day. And then for my weekly boxes, it's just really simple box layout. It's nothing fancy at all. And then of course I'm going to be finishing it off with a little frog doodle. And for this doodle, I wanted to try and draw a little tree frog. It's not actually a doodle. It's a sketch. I'm so used to saying doodle. I'm trying to sketch. We're trying. I'm sure lots of people are drawing frogs for February in the bullet journals as it is a leap year. So if you've drawn frogs in your bullet journal, then I would love to see it. So make sure you send me a picture. You can send it to me through uh, Instagram, which I'll have my handle linked down below. Or you can head over to my Facebook page and just put a picture up on my page and let everybody see your gorgeous pictures. Or maybe you haven't done frogs. Maybe you've done a more valentine's -y themed spread for February. Either way, I definitely want to see. So send me some pictures because um, I'd love to see them and maybe I can share some on my Instagram stories. I've definitely lost my sketching abilities since I've been drawing it so much kind of online and on Photoshop so I don't really touch pencil and paper anymore. I did enjoy sketching in my bullet journal so it's nice to get back to what I used to love doing but I've definitely I've lost my edge <laughs> so maybe I will do um, another sketch 
um, month in my bullet journal so then I'm getting used to it but I think I'm going to be sketching every day not online or anything just like for me personally just to get back into it so all of my weekly setups are going to look exactly the same it's just I'm sketching um, a different frog on each page and this one I just decided to box in and smudged it but you know it's not really um, a bullet journal video on my channel if I don't smudge some kind of line or mess up. <laughs> It would have been really nice if I paid attention to what species of frog I was drawing and then I could have written the name of the frog down. Maybe I'll do that next time if I ever do certain animals or something, I'll write down what species it is. I think that'll look nice. And then for the next week I decided to make a little play on the quote that's see no evil, hear no evil and speak no evil. Yeah, that's basically what I was trying to draw here. And then here we are on my last weekly spread, so I'm just drawing my last little frog down here. Um, I actually wasn't very well when I was drawing this. I had like a flu virus that I was ill with um, all last week. So um, now that I'm feeling better, I'm hopefully going to get back to doing some plan with me. So there has been some issues with my new planner that I got. I'm going to have to tell you all about it because it's been it's been a time. <laughs> Uh, January did not start how how um, I planned it to <laughs> but yeah definitely getting back into doing some February plan with me so make sure you look out on my channel for that but here's a flip through of how Froggyberry ended up looking I hope you guys have enjoyed this sketchy vibe for Froggyberry definitely let me know down in the comments if you would like to see me sketch some more in my bullet journal and I know that we are in February or nearly in February and I'm only now saying this but I hope you guys had a really good new year. I hope you are all having a lovely day so far and I will speak to you next time. Bye guys!